What's up people and welcome to my tutorial in pragmatic data science. So in the previous video we had a look at matrix multiplication and how you would read in your whole data set as a matrix and also how you could do the same thing with the values or the uh, sorry the weights and you can multiply them together in order to test out different weights on your data set. And in this video we're going to touch upon something called uh, transpose and transposing of matrices. And uh, this is fairly straightforward. It's basically when you have uh, the matrices flipped in the wrong order uh, when you want to multiply them. And <clears throat> if you have some matrix M and you want to notate it as transposed, you would use this uh, superset T here to show that this is M transposed. And uh, let's say that you have some matrix that has uh, these dimensions, so 15 rows and 200 columns. The M transpose of this matrix would flip the dimensions around, so now you would have 200 rows and 15 columns instead. So you can see just flip them around. And uh, from this example, let's say that we have M1 and M2 here that uh, have these dimensions and these values. Uh, you cannot multiply them together because M1 has 2.4 dimensions and M2 also have 2.4 in dimensions. So that won't uh, work when you multiply them because 2 is not equal to 4. Basically, the innermost here have to be the same number. But you can also see that if we transpose any of these matrices, let's say that we transpose M2, so you would have 4.2, uh, 4 then you would have uh, them being equal on the number 4, because yeah, 2.4 and 4.2 would work when you multiply them. And you can also see that if we transpose M1, you would have uh, 4.2, and now the number 2 would be e uh, being equal to each other. And uh, depending on which one you transpose, they will get different outputs and even dimensions. So let's say we transpose M2, and you can see how this is how this is done mechanically. You would very rarely do this by yourself, and you can see that now this row right here is now this column right here, and you can also see that this row right here is now this column here. So you can like flip them around and tilt it upwards. And if you multiply them together, you're going to get the 4 by 4 matrix if you transpose M2, because, you know, it's going to be, or sorry, it's going to be a 2 by 2 matrix, because you yeah, have 2, and then this transpose is going to be 2 by 2 matrix. So you're going to get these values right here. But if instead, let's suppose that you, that you transpose M1 instead, now what this is going to do is, is this, so you're going to take this and transpose it, so it's going to have the outermost here is now going to be the 4, and then it's going to be the 4 from this one, so it's going to be 4 by 4 output matrix, which is uh, this one right here. And uh, therefore it's very important to see that it depends on what matrix you decide to transpose, you're going to get different outputs. And you need to be very careful when you do this kind of stuff, so that you actually transpose and multiply in the right order, and you, that you do the transposing of the, the correct matrix. So you can see, as I said here, now the innermost match up by 2, and the outer dimension is going to be <clears throat> 4 by 4 matrix, that's the output. Alright, so I have written a little bit more about this, you can read, read here from the PDF. And that is all from this video, I hope you liked it, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and leave any comments if you have any questions or anything like that. Alright, so see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.